Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome to the MBA Info session today. I hope you're ready to listen to my presentation and it's good to see some of you back and then it's nice to see some of the new participants for today's info session. So I hope throughout this 20-30 uh, minutes of my presentation ahead, you'll get some new insights about how is it to study in China. And then if you experience any technical difficulties, for example, if you cannot hear my voice very clearly, please let me know on the group chat so I can fix it right away. And if you can hear me clearly also, please let me know in the group chat so everything can run out smoothly from now. Okay, so I'll start my presentation for today. So first of all, again, I would like to uh, welcome you with the saying, China welcomes you or Zhong Guo Huang Yi Ni. So first of all, I'd like to introduce myself to all of you. So my name is Nadia Wijaya. I'm an advisor at China Admissions. So you might, you might know me from all the emails I've sent to you. I hope uh, it's okay to keep sending you more emails about information and studying in China. So I'm based in Beijing, but I'm originally from Indonesia. And then I studied at University of International Business and Economics. It is located in Beijing. I studied Master of World Economics from 2017 to 2019. So uh, it took me like two years to study master program at UIBE. And then what I gained through my two years of experience studying in China is actually a lot of things. So it was an awesome and also a fun journey at the same time. And I really feel like I get a lot of uh, new stuff, new experience, get to meet a lot of new people as well, coming from different backgrounds and in different countries and also different cultures. And I feel like it really shapes me to become who I am today. And then I have like a more like an open-minded and then I know more of like the culture of other people as well. So it really is a huge opportunity for all of you to learn, not just to get your degree in China, but also to get a much more experience beyond that. So you get to experience like Chinese culture, Chinese food, and then get to meet everyone from all over the world. And definitely the education in China is the high quality one. So don't you worry, uh, studying in China is definitely will change your life forever and ever. So yeah, I'll start uh, to introduce my company. So I work in China Admissions. What is China Admissions? Basically China Admission is the award winning platform for international students to apply to Chinese universities. And then we partner with over a hundred of top Chinese universities and we have over uh, 100,000 registered students on our platform. And then here are the list of the awards that we won in the recent years. So one of the, one of the highlight is that our company is nominated for the Holland IQ China at Tech 100 in the early 2020. And then uh, here is a little bit of our theme behind China Admissions. So we are a multicultural team coming from different countries and also different cultural background. So my colleagues are coming from like different part of the world. I'm the only Indonesian in the team. And then I have Chinese colleague and then I have a colleague from England and then Mongolia, Philippines. I have a colleague from Rwanda as well and other countries. So it's definitely like a huge opportunity opportunity as well for me to become a part of China admissions because I get to learn like a cultural background of other people as well. So yeah, uh, anyway, here are some of our partner universities. As we said, as I said before in the previous slide, we partner with over 100 of top Chinese universities. So here are some of the examples, some of the universities that are our partners and there are many more beyond this that is displayed in this slide. And, and the agenda for today's presentation, there are four agendas that I'll cover for today's presentation. First one is the admission for September 2020 intake, and then the application process, and then the tips and tricks, and the frequently asked questions. But basically for this presentation, it's going to be different than the previous one held last week, because in today's presentation, I will uh, mostly highlight about the MBA programs in China, especially the top MBA programs, as well as the other master in business programs like Master in International Business, Master in Business Administration or International Trade. So if you are curious to know to know more about business studying business in China, then uh, please listen because this is definitely going to be useful for you. Okay, so first of all is the question. So why study MBA in China? So the first reason is because there is a world-class MBA programs available in Chinese universities. So Chinese business schools 
is uh, occupy the financial times top 50 MBA rankings every year. So there are some best performing uh, MBA schools in China, including China Europe International Business Schools. It's located in Shanghai. And then there is Zhengkong Graduate School of Business or CKGSB in Beijing. And then there is uh, Peking University, their Beijing International MBA program. And then Fudan University School of Management, which has cooperation with MIT. And then there is uh, Tsinghua University Anshep, and then uh, Zhejiang University, uh, sorry, Zhejiang University International Business School. So I will cover all the six universities in my presentation later. So I'll discuss more about the programs that these top MBA schools has to offer. So the second reason why you should be studying MBA in China is because of the high employment rate. So after three months of completing MBA degree in China, 90% of the MBA graduates find meaningful jobs at some of the prestigious company in the world. So for example, alumni of SIPs have told, uh, have told us that actually uh, like all of them, like 100% of their alumni have gotten like a um, very meaningful job at, at the prestigious companies after they get their MBA degree from SIPs in Shanghai. So then the third reason would be a wide range of career opportunities because you'll have an easy access to local and multinational companies and different industries in Asia. And, as, uh, and another thing is by joining MBA schools in China, you will also get to experience and also get the chance to be involved in their MBA alumni network, which, which consists of like a lot of business leaders, which position in like a lot of multinational companies in the world. So it will definitely give you a huge opportunity to learn, to grow and also uh, build your career in the future. And then the fourth reason is the salary increase. So MBA graduates from top Chinese universities typically will obtain salaries higher than what they were earning in the year before. So in, according to the Financial Times list, the salary increase uh, of the MBA ranking. So four of, four of the top five places are dominated by the Chinese MBA schools. So it is definitely a huge opportunity for you and it will be a huge advantage for you to study MBA in the MBA schools in China. So the fifth reason is going to be combining East and West. So China has been very much appreciating the influence of the West in China. So MB, uh, I mean like studying MBA in Chinese university or like in Chinese MBA schools will definitely give you the best of both worlds by providing you an in-depth knowledge of China's business and also a global perspective. So if you want to know more about the examples of the East-West cooperation, I will definitely explain further about you because this is very relevant to one of the MBA program offered at Peking University because they have a cooperation with top university in London and also in Europe. So the sixth reason you should be studying MBA in China is because you can learn Chinese language as well. So definitely Chinese language is the most spoken language in the whole world. And it will give you advantage if you know Chinese language and if you have the Chinese skills. So the seventh reason is to join international exchange program and or, or dual degree program because Chinese business schools, they offer multiple international exchange program in the most prestigious business schools. And they have partnership with a lot of prestigious business schools, which can provide like dual degree for you. So you can get one degree from Chinese university and then another degree from the overseas business schools in either Europe or America. And then the eighth reason is because studying in China is actually relatively affordable. So the tuition fee, if you study in top MBA schools, it ranges from like 100,000 RMB per year. However, if you choose to study in other Chinese universities, right, those without uh, the requirement of the working experience, it's actually the tuition fee is pretty low. It's around like 25,000 RMB per year. It's, it's about like around 3,000 US dollar. And for on-campus accommodation, the price is around 50 to 100 uh, per day per person. And then for the off-campus, if you choose to rent a place outside of the campus, if you choose to like, let's say rent a room or like rent a studio, rent your own apartment, it starts from 2,500 per month. It depends on the room type that you choose as well. And also it depends on the city that you choose as well. This is actually the price based on my experience in Beijing. But Beijing is one of the uh, most expensive cities in China. So definitely if you choose to study somewhere else in the smaller cities, it could be cheaper than 2,500 per month. And then for the living expenses, uh, I expect around 3,000 to 400 RMB per month for like the whole thing, like for the paying the food, transportation, and if you have to buy stuff, 
yeah, definitely three to four thousand per month is actually sufficient. However, it depends on your lifestyle as well. So, uh, and then the another reason is about scholarship because actually these top MBA programs in China and also Chinese universities offer lots of scholarship to international students. And then the next reason why you should be studying MBA in China is because of the technology advancement. So, uh, you get to maximize the function of your smartphone if you're studying in China. So you can easily do everything with a single click from, from your smartphone in China. You can buy groceries, you can rent a bike, you can call a taxi, you can pay for like literally everything just by a single touch in your phone because everything in China can be paid by WeChat Pay or Alipay. So technology has really made our life easier in China. So in conclusion, studying in China in general is an adventure of a lifetime because there is endless travel and also business opportunities and you get to discover delicious Chinese cuisine and also the interesting uh, Chinese culture. And then you get to meet friends from all over the world. And last but not least, it will develop a global mindset inside of you. So the next part is about the admission. So admission is now open for the September 2020 intake. And then the application deadline for the self-finance uh, self finance applications is around December to June 2020, it depends on the university. And then I'll move on to introducing you to the top MBA programs available in China. So the first one is the MBA program at Zhengkong Graduate School of Business, which is located in Beijing. So it is a two years long uh, MBA program for international students taught in English. And then the in next intake will be September 2020. And then the application deadline is up to June 29 which is the last round of application. And you need, to, you need to have two years of working experience to study at CKGSV and scholarships are available for excellent international candidates. So what CKGSV offer is basically they offer a 14 months of English language MBA to help young professionals transform into a global business leaders with strong understanding of China and also other emerging countries. And the next program is the MBA program offered by China Europe International Business School or SEEDS. So China Europe International Business School is located in Shanghai. They have a very uh, beautiful campus. So if you see the picture there, it's actually their campus in Shanghai. And then uh, their next intake is in September and the application deadline is up to May 2020, which is in the next three weeks. So if you have two years of working experience, you're eligible to apply to MBA program in SEEDS. So what SIPS has to offer is a world-class MBA designed to prepare talented professionals with a strong career aspiration and then promising managerial potential and also a clear international orientation for post-graduation roles in global business. So uh, if you'd like to know more about SIPS, well, SIPS MBA program is actually the best in Asia according to the Financial Times rank of global MBA ranking in 2019. And then it is also the fifth best in the whole world. So you can imagine how's the quality of the education at SIPS. It will definitely gonna be very, very great. And then the next program is at Fudan University. So it's Fudan University with cooperation with MIT. So it's called International MBA. And this is basically a dual degree program. So you get to get two degrees, one from Fudan University, another from MIT. So next intake is in September and application deadline is actually next week. So you only have one week left if you decided to apply for uh, Fudan MIT International MBA. So you need to have a two years working experience. So Fudan IMBA program is actually ranked the 33rd best in the global MBA program and then the sixth best in the Asia Pacific region and the first among the top business schools in Chinese mainland university by Financial Times this year. So yeah, definitely this is a good program because uh, Fudan University is also one of the best university in China. It is included as a top five best university in China and then they have this cooperation with MIT Sloan School of Management in the US. And then the next is gonna be the MBA program offered by Peking University. Well, there are two types of MBA program offered by Peking University as a part of their Beijing International MBA program. So the first one is their cooperation with UCL or University College London, which is obviously in London. And then uh, there are two programs offered by this uh, cooperation of Peking University and UCL. 
So they offer a 28 months program if you choose to study there part time. And then if you choose to study for a full time MBA program, you'll spend 16 months to get your MBA degree. So the application deadline is up to June 30. And then you need to have three years of working experience. And then you get the chance to study at both uh, Peking University in Beijing and also at the UCL campus in London. And then the next one is the sister program. It's the Peking University in cooperation with Larek Business School. So the, this is a part-time MBA program and it will take you 24 hour, sorry, 24 months 24 months to get your MBA degree if you choose to study here. And that application deadline is around the same time, June 29, which is still two months, three months away. And then uh, you need to have three years of working experience. So then yeah, Lurk Business School is one of the best in the world because they, has, they hold all three major international accreditation label in the world of management education. Next one is the International MBA program offered by SIPS is the Zhejiang University International Business School. So this is the, a part of the Zhejiang University, which is also included in the top five best university in China. And then for their IMBA program, uh, the duration would be two years. And then for the application deadline, the third round of application deadline would be next week on April 30. So we have one week left if we wanted to apply on the third round of the application period. And then the last round, the final round of application would be next month on, at the end of May. So you need to have two years of working experience. So basically the MBA program at SIPS, uh, it cultivates senior managers and also future leaders with global vision, social responsibility, and also innovative entrepreneurship. So you will not only learn about the theories of businesses, but you will also get the chance to uh, experience and also to be trained with effective leadership and also cross-cultural business skills. And last but not least is the Tsinghua Institute of Executive MBA. So this is not an MBA program, but instead this is an executive MBA or EMBA program. And the next intake is in September 2020. And then for the application deadline, it's actually today for the third round of application. And then uh, you still have a chance to apply for this program because their final round of application will end on June 5. Because this is an EMBA program, executive MBA, then you need to have at least 12 years of professional working experience in order to apply for this program. So according to Financial Times, INSEAD MBA program is ranked as the third best in the whole world last year. So besides that, uh, you will get to spend the time studying at Tsinghua University campus in Beijing, as well as in Anshad, uh, three campuses in Singapore, Abu Dhabi, or France. So this is definitely a good opportunity if you're looking into, uh, into having like international experience and also international a lifestyle, you get to meet a lot of people coming from different countries because you'll be studying at different campuses with location, uh, which located in a different part of the world. And then lastly, if you are confused about uh, like MBA programs, you, if you wanted to get to know more about the MBA degrees, you can actually spend a week in Shanghai in seats in China Europe International Business Schools because they will have this pre-MBA summer bootcamp program. And then uh, it will be uh, held on August 25th to August 30th this year. And the price, the tuition fee would be 1,800 US dollar in total, which includes the five night accommodation, all meals, and also all activities and travel insurance. So during the one week long program, you will be able to get to know more about the MBA degree, about the MBA program, get to meet all the professors, get all the uh, lectures about the business and also about the business trend in 2020. So this is definitely a huge opportunity if you're looking forward into getting your MBA degree, but maybe you're still confused about it or like, you know, you still have a lot of things to do this year, but you wanted to prepare for next year, but you wanted to know like uh, what to expect from the MBA program. Definitely, this is a good chance because you can just spend one week in Shanghai and then get to know more, like get to know like the complete information about the MBA programs. 
So next up, I would also love to give you information about Master in Business Administration if you are looking into universities with a relatively cheaper tuition fee compared to the others that I've explained before. And also if you don't have working experience, because I realize that some of you may not have working experience yet. Probably you've been working, but uh, it's not two years yet. Maybe you just work for like one year or like maybe you just have internship experience. So if you are in this condition that you can definitely take a look at these two university, uh, the MBA program at University of International Business and Economics. This is where I studied before in Beijing. So basically UIBE, in my opinion, and also what I heard from my Chinese friends, UIBE is actually pretty famous in terms of uh, a university to learn business and also economics. So in the eyes of the Chinese students, UIBE is actually one of the best if you wanted to come and study for business or economics. So you can definitely take into consideration studying at UIBE and also in Shandong University International MBA if you don't have working experience. But if your budget is lower than uh, 50 or 60,000 RMB, if you probably, your budget is only about like 3,000 or like 3,500 US dollar, then you can definitely take a look at Jiangsu University MBA program and also uh, Ningpo University MBA program. Both of these universities don't require working experience and then their uh, tuition fee is uh, relatively more affordable than the other universities. If you wanted to study master international business, my recommendation would be BFSU in Beijing. Beijing Foreign Studies Universities, they have an excellent uh, international business school. I visited, the, I visited the campus before. It was like a beautiful campus in Beijing. And then the quality of the international business program is definitely one of the best. And if you only have, and if you only wanna spend one year to get your master degree, I would recommend you to come and study at UNNC or University of Nottingham, Ningpo, China. Well, this is basically the branch of uh, the University of Nottingham, which has other locations in the UK and also in Malaysia. So if you only want to spend one year studying master and to get your master's degree, you can definitely try it out at UNNC. And last but not least, if you wanted to study master in international trade, my recommendation would be Beihang University and also Huachong University of Science and Technology, which located in Wuhan. So basically these two universities are uh, in the top 25 of best universities across China. So the quality of education is definitely uh, good enough. Don't you worry. Okay, so next up is the application process. So how to complete the application. First, you can choose the program and then apply online and then complete the online application and then upload the required documents. I will let you know more about the documents later. And then you need to pay the application fee and then you can successfully submit your application. After that, we will submit your application to the university and then you need to wait for a university's decision. While waiting, there will be several stages involved. Like for example, uh, the university will check your application. So it's called the initial review by the university. And then you need to join the university admission test if there's any, especially for the MBA programs. If you don't have GMAT or GRE or like TOEFL or IELTS, you can take the admission test at the university or online. And then if you are, if you pass the initial review, then the university will invite you to join the online interview. And then the university will decide whether to accept you or to reject your application. And if you're accepted, the university will send you the conditional letter by email. And then you need to pay the deposit fee, which is like a, a fee to secure your seat at the university. The amount can be various. It depends on the university. And then after you pay the deposit fee to the university, they will send you the visa form or the JW202 form and the admission notice to your home address so you can apply for a visa at the Chinese embassy. And after that, you can pack your bag, book your ticket, and then fly and come to China. So how to apply? So you can just go to this link to apply.china-admissions.com slash search, which will take you to this page. So you can just go here. You can screenshot the page if you're uh, afraid you will forget it. 
So just go to apply.chinadesadmissions.com slash search. We can help you apply to multiple Chinese universities in China. There are 20, sorry, 2,500 programs available in China that we can help you apply for. Here are the required documents that you need to complete. So I'll only cover the one for master's program. Uh, well, basically you need to, to have your passport, your photo, your bachelor certificate, your bachelor transcript, personal statement, TOEFL or IELTS. If you're applying for an English thought program and if you are applying for the Chinese thought program, you need to complete your HSK certificate. Most likely they demand HSK level four or HSK level five. And then you need to also submit your bank statement and two recommendation letters. These two recommendation letters should be coming from the previous uh, professors, sorry, like from the professors from your previous university. It's better to come from people who are in the education field. But if you cannot get your professors to write you the recommendation letter, you can also ask your superior at the company to write you one. So next up about the application process is the application fee. So what is the application fee? A lot of you have been asking me about it. Uh, so application fee is basically required by the university in order to process your application, to prepare and also send the admission notice and visa form to your home address and it is non-refundable. So what if you, your application is later rejected, uh, the application fee is non-refundable. So what if you decided to withdraw your application with any reasons, the application fee is non-refundable. So in any case, in any re, uh, with any reasons, the application fee is non-refundable. So how to pay the application fee? Well, China Admissions uh, give you several payment methods that you can use if you apply on our platform. So basically you can apply with Visa or MasterCard and then PayPal, and you can also do international bank transfer to our HSBC bank account. And if you're in China or if you have friends, who are currently in China, you can ask them to help you pay with WeChat Pay or Alipay, which is definitely more convenient. So next up is the tips and tricks. So I would like to introduce you to the formula that we developed for you to be able to choose the right programs for you. Because I know a lot of you are not really familiar with China's education system or with, China's, with Chinese universities. A lot of you are confused about like which program you should be choosing or like which university you should apply to. So I hope these three uh, criteria, these three things on the screen here will help you to be able to wisely choose the programs that you want to apply for. So first of all is the choosing the major you want to apply to. So you have to know what's your future career goal, what you want to be in the future. You, have, you need to know what your future plan is and then you can also check which subject do you like the most or which subject do you want to study further. And then for example, I love business. So that's why I choose to study business. And then the next criteria is about your budget. It is very important to know about your budget because you need to know who will fund your studies in China. For example, maybe your parents, maybe your sponsor, maybe you get scholarship from your company or from your government. So you need to know who will fund your studies in China. And the next is to know how much is the budget to study in China. So these two uh, items will definitely help you to get to know more about your choices, help you to narrow down the list of the potential, uh, the list of the potential universities that you can apply to. Because Chinese universities are there and a lot of them have different tuition fees. So if you know your budget, you can definitely choose the one that is suitable with your budget. And last but not least, it just is to choose the location. Well, this is optional in my opinion, because if you know the major and the budget already, you should be able to you know, figure out which university you want to apply to. But some people have preference in terms of location. For example, some of you might be uh, comfortable or like convenient studying at big cities in China only, like a lot of you are uh, inquiring about studying in Shanghai or Beijing, but I know that some of you are willing to have a more like of like a Chinese culture experience. So uh, like you wanted to study in a smaller cities in China or like you wanted to study in like, let's say south part of China because it's a tropical, tropical weather. Or maybe a lot of you loves uh, cold weather. So you wanted to study in Harbin, enjoying minus 25 degree every winter. So yeah, 
a lot of you have different preferences in terms of location. So I believe getting to know your preferences in terms of like the place you, uh, where you will be staying for like the next two to three years will definitely be helpful as well for you. So you can choose the right programs. And if you are still confused and if, if you wanted to get our help in choosing programs, you can also do this little quiz here. It's quiz.chinadeskadmissions.com. You can also uh, screenshot this page and then uh, go to the link later after, after the presentation is done. And the second tips and trick would be the guidelines to a successful application. So first of all, you need to meet the eligibility criteria. So like in terms of age, nationality, and also academic performance in terms of English uh, level, in terms of working experience, if that's required, you need, to, uh, you need to be able to fulfill all these eligibility criteria set by the university. And then the second one would be to have an excellent academic performance. And then you need to have great English proficiency if you're applying for an English taught program or great Chinese proficiency if you're applying for the HSK, oh, sorry, if you're applying for the Chinese top program. And next up is to apply on China admissions and then submit all the required documents as I explained before. And you need to also complete the application fee payment because it is required by the university. So if you don't submit the documents completely and if you don't pay the application fee, then your application will be regarded as incomplete. And you have to complete your application, including the documents and also the application fee payment before the deadline because Chinese universities are actually very strict in terms of deadline. So they don't accept new applications beyond the deadline. So uh, it's also best to apply to multiple universities to increase your chances to get the admission in China. And then last but not least, because there will be interview and also admission tests for most of the top MBA programs, it is best if you can prepare well for the interview and also the admission test. If you need our help to prepare uh, for these materials with you, we can definitely help you because we've been helping lots of international students to apply to top MBA programs. Definitely, we can help you give some tips and tricks about how to prepare yourself for the interview and also the admission test. So why using China admissions? Because I mentioned that uh, one of the successful one of the successful way to get us to have a successful application in China is to apply on China admissions platform. So why China admissions? So first of all, we don't charge any service fee to help you apply. It is one hundred percent free of charge, and then uh, you only need to pay the application fee because it is required by the university. The amount of the application fee is various. It ranges from like 80 to like 150 US dollar. It depends on the university. And China Admissions is a one platform for all. So you can search and apply to multiple universities in just one platform. There's no need for you to go to the website of University of A and then do it again in, the web, in another website of another university. So the last reason would be because we are very responsive. So we are reachable anytime. And our average response time is around nine hours and you can have a free consultation with us by email, WhatsApp or call. If you'd like to have a free consultation with us by call, you can book the time. We will send out the link so you can book the time with us after the presentation. The last part of the presentation is about the frequently asked questions. So first question is when is the intake at Chinese University. So the intake is actually in March and September each year. However, if you're applying for degree programs, meaning bachelor, master, or PhD programs, then the intake is most likely in September. Because for March intake, normally the university are only offering the Chinese language program, which is a non-degree program, and you can study for like one semester or one year. And the second question, what is the entry requirement for MBA, IMBA, and EMBA program? So, well, basically the basic entry requirements are a university degree from a recognized university, professional or full-time work experience, and also a GMAT or GRE score. Do you need working experience to apply for an MBA program? The answer is yes, but it depends as well. If you're applying to the top MBA programs, yes, you will need a working experience. But for other universities in China, you may not need to have working experience. But if let's say 
you are applying to the top MBA programs, you need to have a minimum of two years of professional working experience. And this does not include internship experience. So it is purely just a working experience, a full-time working experience. And then for EMBA programs, you need to have a minimum of 12 years. Will there be an interview during the application process? Yes. If you're in China, you can attend the interview in person. Otherwise, you can do it online. So if you pass the initial review by the university, then you will be invited to join the interview with the university officer. The next reason is after taking the on-campus exams and interview, when will the results be announced? So the result will be announced in two to eight weeks. It depends on the university. So if you're accepted, you will receive the conditional offer by email. So is GMAT or GRE required? It depends on the university again. So if you're applying to the top in MBA programs, then GMAT or GRE is actually required. However, a lot of you are not able to get, or a lot of you are not able to attend the GMAT or GRE test due to the current COVID-19 pandemic. So it's okay because the university have the university admission test and you need to just complete the university admission test if you cannot get your GMAT or GRE this year. So what are the additional required documents you need to complete is the foreigner physical examination form and then the non-criminal record which you can get from the local police station and a CV. And then can I work and study at the same time? The answer is no. Foreign students in China are not allowed to work at all. So if you hold a Chinese student visa, then working is illegal. So uh, whether it's a part-time job or it's a full-time job, all are considered prohibited. So you're not allowed to work if you are holding a Chinese student visa. However, you can do internship in China as long as the university permits. So you can actually go and find internship opportunities in China because there are lots of internship opportunities for international students in China. And if you apply and then you get the internship position, you can just report back to the university saying that you get the internship. So they will help you to process the visa for you. So it's like additional information on your visa. Lastly is, is dormitory available and how can I book it? So dormitory is available, depends on the university. Mostly, international, uh, mostly universities have dorms for international students. And also booking is doable only after you receive the admission letter and we can help you to book the dormitories online. So don't worry uh, about the dormitory booking because we can help you to book online. And then about the room type or like room availability, it will be available, like we will know it only after the online booking system is open. So that's the end of the, uh, that's the end of the presentation. So here are the key links that you need to uh, take note or you can just screenshot the page. So if you wanted to search for programs for like other programs, let's say you wanted to study engineering, not business, or probably one of your family members wants to come to China and then study Chinese language, you can just go to the link. It's apply.china-admissions.com slash search. And then feel free to contact us to do a consultation. Uh, or if you have any questions about studying in China, you can just basically reach us on email uh, at apply at china-admissions.com and also you can also add us on whatsapp with the number there and then uh, you can also follow us on social media i'm pretty sure all of you have social medias because we live in 2020 so i'm pretty sure like all of you have at least one of the social media accounts here so you can follow us on facebook instagram YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, and if you use WeChat, you can also follow we, our WeChat official account. So we basically post uh, regularly on our social media as well. You can get to know more about other programs or, or like online info session opportunities or like um, online free Chinese classes. Yeah, we do post a lot of this information on our social media. So yeah, that's all for the presentation today. Thank you all for listening. Now I will cover the questions here. And then I will also introduce my colleague before the Q&A starts, I will introduce my colleague. His, uh, his name is Richard, he is coming from London. So he has lots of opportunities dealing with MBA programs because he, is, he was joining the SIPS pre-MBA bootcamp program in Shanghai 
last year. So if you have questions about SEEPS or like about the pre-MBA programs, if you wanted to know more about the pre-MBA program or how is it to study MBA, you can definitely ask him a questions as well.